seen him fight, man. His last three opponents all went to the ER after the fight. They all left out either with a broken rib, a broken jaw, a broken nose. So he's on, you know, he's definitely on the move. You're going to see him. He's facing a guy that had like 17. This is one of the guys I was telling you about. This guy has been in the ring three times, and he's facing a guy right now that's been in the ring about 17 times. So when y'all come out there and y'all watch the fight, you know, and if he does happen to knock the guy out in the first round, please give my guy his credit because this guy's been in the ring and he's a fighting over 17 times. You know, Can we at least that? make a reservation down at the ER to tell him to, to <laughs> hold the <a, a laughs> space on the site? Yeah, I don't know, Rich. I'll talk to you, man. What's up, man? This is your boy, Mr. Yellow Shades, Alejandro Lebrado. I'm with Crooked Streets Radio, and I'm here with Jeffrey McCullough. You know what I'm saying? He got a fight coming up on Saturday. He ready to knock somebody's head off. You know what I'm saying? Tell us how you feeling about that. I mean, uh, I'm feeling real great about it. You know, I, um, I really had a real hard camp. You know, I done basically sparred everybody. Every fighter in this room done worked with me before. You know, I had a real tough camp. Done brought out the best in a lot of people. You know, like, it's just another day work for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, That's what's up, man. What's your, uh, what's your record right now? Now as it stands, I reckon uh, three and oh, three first round knockouts. You know, like I, I ain't been our first round yet. We'll see. You know, I'm, I'm I done broke bones in fights already and everything. So, we it, why are you trying to get out of the ring so quick? You got like a night job or something? You know, I, mean, you know, I ain't no point in being there. You know, I don't get paid for overtime. You know, I it's, it got to be a nod and he can sit back and watch the rest of the fights. You know, uh, what, what fighters uh, inspired you as far as style or you know, determination? I really, um, I really been inspired by it was an MMA fighter named Wanderlei Silva for real. And, you know they call him the Axe Murderer. You know that's the, like basically the fighter that inspired me the most in my life. You know like I really got a street fighting style. You know my coaches took it and made it more to a box style. I'm boxed. I was nine years old. You know. Yeah, I heard earlier in the interview you said you were in like 300 street fights. Yeah. You like the real Vin Diesel. You know what I'm saying? Was you, you like just a troublemaker kid, or did it come to you? No, it, it, I don't know how it really happened for really like because I couldn't have been a troublemaker kid because people knew my whole life. Here. So, you know, like, basically, I just end up fighting for a lot of people, you know, and, and that's how my life just turned out. I've been through a lot of street fights, and they still breaking me out of that street fighting personality now in the ring. You know, like, calm down, Jeff. It's like, zoned out personality, you know. So where can we find you online? You got, like, Instagram or website, something like that? Um, my Instagram, Rebel Angel 9. My um, Facebook, Jeffrey McCullough, you know, J-F-F-E-R-Y. What's up, man? Wishing you a lot of luck on Saturday, man. We're going to be there supporting Baltimore Boxing. <laughs> That's right. my business. That's right, man. We're with CrookedStreetsRadio.com, man. Stay tuned with more interviews, more coverage on the fights, man. Just keep with us.